Hey, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the Hacker Show, and you are watching Hacker Associate Broadcast. So today, uh, I just came live, okay, just to show you uh, the Burp AI part. Okay, so most of the people have you know messaged me over LinkedIn, like, uh, can you please help me out? Okay, like, what about the Burp AI? How to use the Burp AI and other things. So I want to clarify. Okay, still the version not came. The version is going to come maybe next month or maybe this month. Any time it can come. I'm going to, by the way, record the video for the same also. But in this section, I will tell you what exactly you need, where you will get the extension, and how you can download it, how you can configure it. That part we will be discussing under this particular live section. Okay. So I'm going. I will guide you like how you can go to our Burp AI, and if you have a Burp professional version, okay, like how you can purchase the Burp credits and other thing. Okay. And there are many other update like Hackwater and many other extension nowadays you can use. Full fledged AI functionality for okay your burp extensions. So let's get started, and I'll see you in the practical section. So I'm sharing the screen. <clears throat> Let me know if you are able to see my screen. So here okay is my screen okay, and uh, you can see this is the link where uh, you can go and you can check about AI HTTP analyzer version 2025.1.0. That is called AI powered security analysis assistance okay. And the features are you can see analyze HTTP requests and response for security vulnerabilities, provide technical analysis and exploitation steps, include POC examples and payloads. This is amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, integrate with the Bubsuit UI and context menu and many other things. Okay, so it's simple. You have an AI, you can look for IDOR, you can look for SQL injection, cross scripting, CSRF, and very intuitive, you know, interface. But the problem here is if you download the source code, I have done already all these two things. Okay, yesterday I tried uh, to install the extension. I'll tell you what exactly you will face. So I'll tell you, like you can simply go to that uh, parallel machine. So this is my parallel desktop. We will start the Kali machine. So I'm using a latest Kali, and I'm going to show you like uh, what you will get it. So simple. When you go to this website, okay, you'll be getting a source code. You download the source code, and if I have a source code, I'll I'll check it. Yes, I have a source code, right? This is the source code. So simple, go to download folder, go to the source code. And once you unzip it, you will see the folder called build. When you click on the build, you will see the libs. And under this, we have an extension available there. Okay, plus even if you have a bub suit, so example, let's see if I go to the Kali machine and enter here. This is the Kali, enter the password. So I will drop the link, okay, this github link okay in the comment section you can have a look into this so if you go here example let's see if i open the bar professional version you can see this is the bar professional right we will open it and uh, using the b app store okay you can download this extension so when i simply go to the next start burp and you can see clearly it will show you here so i'm using a bar professional version right also if you simply go to this extension uh, go to the BAP store here and you can look for you know AI. So I need to check where it is, but it will show you okay here the message call require burp latest version, something like that. Okay, it will basically going to show you. And this particular AI extension will work on this 1.2, not on 1.1. So I am using 1.1. The new version is going to come maybe next week or maybe next month. We need to check it. And once you have 1.2 version, okay, as per the burp documentation you will be able to use your AI extension. That is a conclusion. Okay. For example, I have that, you know, extension jar file. If I try to install, let's see what will happen. So you can see this is basically the extensions. And when I click on the add button and I click on Java, select file. And from here, I need to select where is my AI extension. You can see this is the AI extension. When I click on open and click on the next and you can see clearly the error is coming. Okay. So technically, I am unable to set up this extension at this moment in this version. Okay, so I need to check some errors. Okay, but from here, okay, not able to install. Even I tried many other machine also. It is not working for me. If it is working for you in your case, please write in the comment section. Okay, because I need to check what exactly is the problem. But I tried. Okay, all the method it is not working. So what I will do is I'll I'll remove from here. And this is the first part. <clears throat> so you can see clearly we, what we understood till now. So we understood that. Uh, like we have a website, we can go there, GitHub application, we can download the source code. From the source code, we get a jar file. We will put it here and we'll check the AI extension, it is working or not. So as per the conclusion here, like what I mentioned, you will be able to use AI extension from the next version, like 
1.2. Second section, what you need to do here is when you simply go to the Safari, and uh, if you are using a Burp professional version, if you are licensed user, then simply go to the Ports Vigor application, Ports uh, Vigor, okay, Burp login. Okay, I'll simply just type like this, and I'll simply login okay to my account. So if you simply go and check this account, so I'm logging. Okay, and you need to go to my account. You can see clearly I have an AI credit around 10,000. Okay, this one you can see 10,000 AI credit. So what you can do before, I think maybe when they release the new version, before that, what you can do is you can simply go to the AI credit and you can select according to your plan. So I selected, okay, the $5 plan. Okay, because I want to test first. If it is okay, if it is good, definitely I'll go toward this credit, 75,000 credit. Okay, so this is basically the best one, but we need to test. Okay, so in the coming video, I'm going to guide you how to test all the feature, how to look for SQL injection, cross scripting mm -hmm. on live application with the help of Burp mm -hmm. AI. Okay, we will discuss. So stay tuned with me. And also if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and don't go without subscribe. Okay, thank, thank you so much. And it is all your support and that will motivate us okay, to record the video like that. Thank you. Thank you uh, to all my viewers once again. Okay, so here you can see this is the first thing you need to do. Okay, just take the credits and you are done. And the next release, okay, whenever the bug going to release AI extension, then you will be able to use it. Okay, this is one thing. Second part is this is the hack water. So, you know, people have also updated hack water. It means this is also AI capability. So, I'll exactly want to show you about it. So, when you go to the hack water, you can see these are all information as we know about it, right? But when I simply go to Hackwater in this area, you can see they have a lot of options they enable. So if I click on setting button, you can see this part is disabled at this moment. Because as I mentioned, this option, okay, you will be able to see from the version 2025 1.2, not okay in the version 1.1. So next update, whenever it will come, enable all the option and you are done, right? Plus, we can also, you know, create a custom tags here. So you can see I don't have any custom tag, but if you want to create a custom tag but i will record a separate video for the same once the new version is going to come okay regarding the burp ai so this is all about it okay and the next part is if you go to the extension and go to the bf store so here i need to look for the ai so i'm just checking okay like anything regarding ai i'm searching the burp ai so last time okay yesterday even when i searched for this i have seen somewhere okay it is mentioning that like uh, you're not able to install this extension because it is uh, you will be able to install the extension okay in the latest version of the bug something like that okay message i have seen there okay so this i need to check this is the hack water which i install and if you go further 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 downside uh here you can see still i'm not able to see but it here okay you will see that exactly the same extension name and it will show you okay like uh from the latest version of the bug you will be able to install so check that you know the information, whatever they mention in the detail area. <clears throat> okay. So three things, okay, you can check, okay, for installation of the extension. One, okay, from the GitHub website. Second, okay, from the BAP store, okay, you need to check where this extension located. And the third section, basically, the source code you have, you can try the source code. You can build the new project and you can check and you can look into this, okay, it is working or not. But as I mentioned, I will wait for 1.2 version and we will install accordingly. This is all about Burp AI and I'm still waiting for you. And I hope okay, you're also waiting for the Burp AI extension. And together we'll explore the AI and I'm teach you how to pen test okay, in future okay, with the help of AI. That's all for this section. And thank you for uh, watching this particular uh, basically live event. And uh, we will see you in the next upcoming event. Bye time till take care. Have a great day and see you in the next episode.